Hello my friends! Welcome to the first Mobile Legend Q&A video. For those who have noticed it, I've made a community post where you could ask me any Mobile Legend related question. And I will answer a couple of them today. I will make another community tab post for the next Q&A, so if you don't want to miss this or any other updates, make sure to check out the community tab and leave a like, vote or comment on any of the posts, so YouTube is actually showing you my post on the homepage. This is an experiment by the way. And depending on how well I get received by you guys, it might become a weekly or monthly series. Now before we start with the questions, the usual 5 shoutouts of today goes to Joshua Laringetta, The Geek Kid, Corbear, Uncle Joe and Savalati Selamat. As always, write something nice in the comments. Now let's start with the first question. And it's coming from Brandon Sison. Hey ho ML guide, can you tell us how to effectively draft your team's composition in response to the enemy's lineup? This is really something I want to know, because there are hardly any videos that shows how to effectively draft your team. Well, first this is a topic that deserves its own video. But since so many of you wanted to know the answer of this question, we will go quickly through the short answer. First and most importantly, you need to know the very basics of each and every hero, because otherwise you can't pick your hero accordingly to the enemy's lineup. It's also depending on how you play. In solo queue and his duo, you can't even choose half of the heroes on your team. And therefore, it's really difficult to draft your team according to the enemy's lineup. Because you have no control over what your teammates are doing. When you're playing with randoms, it's more important that you can play any role and adjust to your teammates. And that your hero is not getting countered by the enemy. I like to be one of the last to pick my hero, but show directly at the beginning which hero I want to play. So my teammates are aware of that. But you could also pick a counter to a certain hero that the enemy picked. If you know how to play this counter hero of course. Also, when the enemy is having a team full of strong early game heroes for example, then you shouldn't pick a hero that requires a lot of farming to become useful. Especially when your allies already picked some of those heroes. Then you should definitely pick a strong early game hero as well, to not get washed away in just 8 minutes. As trio or 5 man team there's a lot more you can do. And there are many scenarios like the example, but as I said, going through all of them would require a whole video. I have a concept already in mind for this. So if you want to see a whole video, where we go through many constellations, let me know in the comments. For all tank users out there, I have something really excited for you already now though. I'm cooperating with a new website called Mobile Legend Tank Tank from Toss Bloom. There you can enter the enemy's lineup and check out which tank is the best one you can choose. You can also use this website to enter your 5 main heroes and find out which tank counters you the most and against which you have an easier time. This website is still pretty new and there will be a lot more updates in the future. For example, that you can check the hero compatibility for all roles and the possibility to check out the stats of your heroes with any equipment in the game. If you want to contribute your knowledge from your main heroes, feel free to join the discord server. Just remember, this is a development discord server. If you want to chat about Mobile Legends, feel free to join my discord server. Also if you have a few dollars to spare, feel free to buy the developer a coffee. He'll need a lot of coffee to keep up with his plans. All links are in the description box below. The next question is from Vismochi. Which hero do you dislike the most when they're on the enemy team? That's really depending on which hero I'm playing. As Harley, I had any hero that can become immune to my ult when it's exploding. As Badang, I had all heroes with suppression because they can just stop my ult or all heroes who can escape me easily. Is Jawhead? I don't hate anyone actually. So yeah, it's really depending on who I'm playing. There's no hero I particularly hate always. Teammates who don't go for objectives or feed and ranking I hate though. Lazy Dave asks, name some heroes who can carry the game alone if my teammates are bad and not experienced. To tell you the hard truth, there is no hero who can carry every game completely alone. There are of course heroes that are stronger in the current meta than others. The hero ranking in Mobile Legends, or this tier list you see right now, gives you a great overview over them. The link to it is in the description box as well. But if you're cursed with 4 bad teammates and the enemies are quite good, well, then it's just a lost match, no matter what you do. I think about 20-25% to of all matches in solo queue you will win, no matter how good you are and another 20-25% to of all matches you will lose, because you was cursed with a bunch of bad teammates or a bunch of good enemies. So in order to rank up, you have to become so good that you can win the remaining 50-60% to of the matches that are relatively even. When you're stuck with a 50% or lower win rate, it's you who have to improve. 
For this, I can recommend you my two noob mistakes videos and my quiz video I've made a couple of months ago. If you're not doing any of the mistakes I'm talking about in these videos, you should be able to get up to a 60% win rate, which is definitely enough to rank up. Practice is the key here. The next question comes from Isoyami. IML guide. Can you give us some tips on things to calm down after bad or trolling teammates? Because when players get angry in their previous game, they will troll next game or not get focused. Hope you answer. I'm not entirely sure if I understand your question correctly. So I answer both. How you can calm down and how to calm down your teammates. If you're angry about the last game, I would not jump right into the next one. Take a deep breath, get yourself something to drink, walk around the room for a minute, whatever calms you down. Going into a new match frustrated will hinder you from playing as good as you could. Also as I just said, in solo queue you will have games that you can't win. So when you're able to accept this fact, it's much easier to stay calm and just focus on the next match. If you realize that you can't come down, you can also just turn off ML or play a round of classic or brawl. I for example don't care about the result of these matches. If I lose, so what? As long as I had some fun moments in the game it's fine. That's in general something by the way that you should think of. It's a game, you're supposed to have fun in there. So don't get too frustrated over a game. If your teammates are angry or start being toxic to each other, a little joke can help to solve the situation. I like to tell my teammates for example that we need more love or if they want to be toxic, they should be toxic to the enemy and not to their teammates. It doesn't work always of course, but you have to try at least. Abi Manjo Christian asks, can you tell us basic math and ML, like the distance from the base, when you better walk or recall to base? Thank you. Well, regarding if you should recall or not, it's not depending on the distance I think. Of course, when you are already in your base, just run back, you don't need to recall there anymore. But if you're anywhere else on the map, you should only recall when it's safe. The best example is this bush here. So many players recall from here, while you can be easily attacked from the jungle area, even when the turret is still up. I already got dozen of kills there, because the enemies tried to recall from there and felt safe. If you're unsure if you're safe or not, it's better to take a little longer walk and recall then. Before you're getting ambushed while recalling, and not only waste more time this way, but also give the enemy some free gold. Especially when you have heroes with long range attacks against you, you better run a bit further to be 100% safe. Bullet Boss asks what to do if you're the last pick and your team needs a tank. Also how do I adapt when my team has no tank? Regarding the first question, how about you pick a tank then? I like to go with CC monsters like Tigreal or Kufra because they really can improve your team if you manage to take off a couple of enemies with their CC skills. You can also protect the noob Layla who thinks she's a melee hero with them. To the second question, well, if you have a hero that can take over the roam role, then do it. Many fighters can also act as a tank or at least as an initiator. If you are playing as assassin for example, try to convince the fighter and the team to take over the roam role. If it doesn't work, well, just try to farm and stay on top of the enemies. So you don't need the support of any tank. The next question is from Alexis Tan. How long is the time frame for killing chains? Like to achieve maniac or savage? I tested this out and it seems to be 10 seconds in between the kills before the chain stops. Next is Adi's question. If there's one thing you could ask Mutant to change in game, what would it be? Well, first I was going to say that they should make all heroes playable in practice mode, but since they are already going to do it anyway, I chose better matchmaking. As I explained before, in solo queue, at least 40% of the matches are out of your control, because the win rate of each player doesn't count for the matchmaking. If I have 4 teammates with a low win rate, I'm fine. If the enemy have also 4 players with a low win rate. Many matches in rank are either too easy or impossible to win and that's boring to me. I'd rather have like 90% even matches where the smallest mistake from each side decide the match and not 40% totally one sided affairs. The most fun I have playing Mobile Legend is when it's a close match. Although I must say, the matchmaking is 10 times better already than one year ago. The next question is from Dwight Gomilla. Do you think Hanami deserves the reram? Well, she got voted for it, so I guess she deserves it because of this. I think usually the heroes who are the least popular should get revamped. But if the developers have some good ideas for any hero and it makes the heroes more fun to play but not too OP, then I'm fine with it. These are all Mobile Legends related questions. Last, let's get into a few off topic ones. The first is from Isoya Yasuji. I hope I pronounced it this time correctly. This is really not a Mobile Legends related question. I just want to know more about you. When and how did you start your YouTube channel? I actually created this on April Fool's Day this year. This explains a lot I think. Firstly I just created a few hero guides. 
because I didn't really have an idea how YouTube and the algorithm really works. I think the first three months I spent more on learning about these things than actually making videos. However, I think this time was well spent, because it boosted my channel already quite far. Although, I didn't really expect that it will blow up this much. When I started in April, my goal was to have 1000 subscribers in the end of 2021. That worked out. To tell you a little secret, I'm actually thinking about creating a second channel, where I'm talking about my experience on how to grow on YouTube. If anyone would be interested in this, let me know in the comments. When and why did you start to play Mobile Legends? I actually started in the beginning of 2020 because of my wife. She was the one who introduced me to it and it was basically our main hobby during the pandemic. If there was a different vote for the Reforge Your Legend event, which hero did you think deserved the rerun the most? As I said before already, the heroes who are the least popular. And lastly, how are you? Well, I'm good at the moment. There's a lot going on, but it's all fine. Next is Corbear. How much time on average does it take to record and edit one video. That's very depending on the topic. An item guide video is completely done in about 2-3 to three hours. The make all mages cry video took a lot longer though. I didn't keep track of it, but it surely took me around 20 hours. This is also the absolute maximum of time I can spend on making videos per week. I have my 40 hours full time job and my daughter and wife will become sad when I'm too long in front of the computer. How much do you usually do in one sitting? That's really depending on which day I'm working. On weekdays, I can usually spend 1-2 to two hours and on the weekend more if there's nothing else up. Have we ever seen MLG wife playing with you in your videos? And does she help with them at all? Well, you certainly saw her in almost all of my videos. And she helps me whenever I need a partner to record something. But she doesn't like to sit in front of the computer. So everything on my videos I'm doing alone. The next question is from Inoiro. What's your real name and profession other than content creator? My real name is Nico. And I'm working as QA engineer in a company that is developing software for hospitals. QA stands for quality assurance. So I'm a tester basically. I'm the one in the company that is making automated tests. This means I write scripts so the program that I'm using is simulating the user interaction with our software automatically. So that we testers don't have to make the same tests over and over again manually. This is just the very basic of it. But I hope you get an idea of what I'm doing. And the last question for today is from Y Animations. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Yes, it can be, if you have drumsticks. You can just start to jam on the glass where the mayonnaise is in. I was playing drums for many years by the way and still drum on anything I can find as soon as any awesome music is playing. And that's it for the first Q&A video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned many new things regarding ML and also a bit about me as well. Now, check out the videos I've mentioned or if you've already seen all of them. Have a great day!